Uh, hey, where's little John, Kyle? Anyway. He's giving out a bunch of money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to go get some of that. Yeah. Here you go. What temperature, what temperature are we at right now? It's kind of very pleasant outside. Yeah, Kristen. temperatures right now are in the low 80s, yeah. so it's it's not too bad at all. Hey, remember last week, earlier oh, last week man. in the, yeah. Yeah, the Blues Festival? Has anybody festival forgotten that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so hot, and we have definitely gotten a break from that, and it has just been beautiful, really, across the board. You get east of the Cascades. We've had some thunderstorms happening there, but not too much lightning and, and activity dying down, so on the whole, everything is looking uh, look, look looking a little bit better out there. This is what it looks like right now here in Portland. And again, temperatures in the low to mid 80s, but the breeze has kicked in, and so it makes it feel a little bit nicer. Through the gorge, a beautiful day here. The kiters, the windsurfers have all been out enjoying the steady breeze through there with a lot of sunshine. The winds are about to pick up quite a bit more, though, over the next couple of days. So just a heads up there as we kind of transition off this weather pattern. Uh, for Mount Hood, beautiful weather up here, too. No showers to talk about, just lots of sunshine. Uh, temperatures there in the mid 80s, and even along the coast, you go from Astoria all the way down to Lincoln City, and we've gotten some sunshine going there too, with temperatures hovering close to 70 up near Astoria and mainly in the mid 60s down toward Lincoln City. But again, you get east of the Cascades, and we have been dodging some showers and thunderstorms today. This is a look at the time lapse from Ben from IonBen.com, and you can see we started off clear. We had these clouds start starting to develop, and they really developed, and then we had that little sprinkle roll through. A thunderstorm just weakened right before. And moved to the Bend area, but they have been a little bit stronger once you get out of central Oregon. So, a little bit of light rain, still spotty light rain between Lapine, Bend, and up towards Madras, uh, all heading to the north. And then you get east, and uh, there are quite a few more thunderstorms out in that general direction. These will all start to die down once the sun sets. And then after tonight, we're going to see drier conditions from the Cascades all the way to uh, the border here. So, we shouldn't see many more thunderstorms, if any at all, tomorrow, and then certainly not the next day either. So, some drier days ahead, and that will mean slightly. Warmer temperatures too out in that area. Your forecast for tonight, though, for the valley and the metro area, temperatures very pleasant, low 80s through 7 p.m. The air is quite dry out, and that's probably why Jeff was saying it felt so pleasant. And that means that temperatures will fall a little bit more quickly. So as we go towards 10 o'clock, we're already getting into the upper 60s. So do expect temperatures to cool more quickly tonight. If you have outdoor plans, you may want to have that light sweater on standby. I know it's warm right now, but again, with that breeze and temperatures cooling faster tonight, it may feel a little bit chilly to some. Onshore flow has been keeping the temperatures fairly mild for the past couple of days. Guess what? It strengthens as we go through tomorrow and Thursday. And so that's going to mean more cloud cover around mixing in with the sunshine. And it's also going to mean slightly cooler conditions with highs staying mainly in the upper 70s uh, rather than in the low to mid 80s. So a little bit cooler tomorrow and especially Thursday. And then after that, we start to gear up for another big warm up. So hour by hour as we go through tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., a sprinkle chance along the coast, upper 50s there, upper 50s for Portland. That cloud cover is Roll back in. It'll be a cool start. Clouds a little bit slower to clear out tomorrow. By noon, though, we're starting to see more sunshine. We'll be right around 70 degrees. So very pleasant for your lunch hour tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, upper 70s to low 80s down south towards Salem. So many of us in the upper 70s for highs tomorrow. Fast forward to Thursday. We wake up Thursday morning. We may even have a sprinkler around as that onshore flow again continues to strengthen. A lot of cloud cover in the valley, southwest Washington too. And then we go into the afternoon. And we're talking highs Thursday, only in the mid to upper. 70s, and then the warm up begins by Friday. You'll see that in the seven day in just a second. Coastal forecast tomorrow, more of the same, a little bit of a, a chance for some sprinkles tomorrow morning. I think we'll see a few more clouds around tomorrow morning, then some sunshine for the afternoon. I 5, low 80s for you to upper 70s up into Washington. Uh, central and east temperatures in the low to mid 80s. More sunshine, a warm day, and no more thunderstorms to talk about. Cascades, mostly sunny skies, and then through the gorge, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds with higher gusts. So those winds really start to pick up, and they'll pick up again Thursday. Day two. Seven day forecast, and we're looking at temperatures staying uh, pretty nice and pretty close to where they should be for this time of the year. Highs nearing 80 tomorrow, upper 70s Thursday, Friday, the transition day, low 80s, and then the sunshine returns, and that's when the heat moves back in with it. So we're looking at highs around 90 both days, Saturday and Sunday this weekend, and it stays fairly warm through early next week. Nothing too hot to deal with, but it is going to be quite a bit warmer this weekend. You know, we're in the upper 80s right now. Imagine a week ago at the same time, we we're about 11 degrees warmer than this. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then mm. when we hit 97, one of those days, we hit ni between 95 and 97. Yeah. So it was really brutal. We won't see anything like that, at least. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Kristen. Good. Well, while it